Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we have a very extreme storm coming to the southeast in the mid-Atlantic, and I wanted to wait for the updates, and I'm glad I did. It's showing that we have an increased tornado threat now because this big windup of this vortex is going to be in the southeast. Now, I do have your totals for you, but main thing I'm concentrating on is timing and impacts of this storm. If you've never been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am all year along. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. Help us get this information out to as many people as possible. Let them know what is coming. Now, all morning long into the afternoon, you got to deal with straight line winds, some thunderstorms in the mid-Atlantic, even chances for isolated tornadoes. But as we get into later this evening, this will be an overnight storm, guys. On a wraparound, cold air meeting with precipitation is going to bring a lot of snowfall, some ice, some freezing rain and chances for tornadoes again a lot of damage and winds all the models are agreeing 50 to 60 miles per hour coming with this storm and it will bring a lot of major snowfall the tornado threat has increased this morning guys that's why i waited for the update you have a big threat all the way from alabama all the way to north carolina and it has increased even the panhandle of florida make sure to share this to as many people as you can let's alert people to this storm coming because it literally has grown in intensity overnight guys not just a little bit of snowfall in the south now it's an extreme storm now let's get into the timing and impacts of what you can expect through this system now this link will be in the description as well remember all the links are in the description to help save you time please use them there are so many warnings it's unbelievable you got blizzard warnings up in montana you got freeze warnings and watches you have winter storm warnings winter weather advisories you have so much going on just go here and click on your area it'll bring to this page it'll let you know if you're under a winter weather advisory winter storm warning high wind watch what it is is your hazard please use the link you can see also if you scroll down a little bit for your area it does show you who is in a winter storm warning a winter weather advisory it even shows you how much accumulation of snow is possible just for the section that you click on now for today, your severe weather, you have a marginal in all this green, and now you have a slight risk in all this yellow for severe weather, and it is for tornadoes, guys. You have a big 2% area in all this green and a big 5% area in all this brown. And this is going to be overnight tonight, overnight storm, so it will be scary for a lot of people. Please share this information so you can feel a little bit safer knowing what's coming. But here's your cities and your states as impacted by the tornado threat for tonight. The main one being Tallahassee, Florida, Savannah, Georgia, Columbia, South Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, and Macon, Georgia. Now, this is bringing some winds as well. You have a big 15% area for winds. I'm showing 50 up to 60 miles per hour damage in winds. Hail isn't that big of a threat. It goes from Panhandle, Florida, southern Alabama, southwestern Georgia. But the winds is going to be a very big threat tonight. And you have flash flooding for today. You have some for southern Washington, northern Oregon. You have this system moving down. It's going to be bringing rainfall all the way down to northern California in the next couple of days. And you have a big green section for flash flooding and a slight risk for North Carolina for today. And this is starting tonight. So far, according to National Weather Service, in the next 24 hours, you will see up to an inch to an inch and a half from the light blue to the purple for the northwest as well as for the mid length you see all the light blue everywhere that's over an inch of precipitation coming some of that being snow for the upper half of the deep south when you get from this purple to this red it goes anywhere from two to three inches and most of that is for north carolina a little bit of south carolina mostly north carolina and you have it for oregon as well real heavy precipitation coming all this green is light amounts even a dark green is up to a quarter of an inch maybe a half very light amounts and you can see here on the NAM 3K, as we go through this system, it starts building up and dropping snowfall on a wraparound. But as this 540 line, your freezing temperatures start shifting to the negative to the southeast. And you have your best chance for this to pull this, because it goes clockwise, pull all this precipitation down to the south. And that's why you're getting a lot of that snowfall, because this is spinning counterclockwise, pulling the precipitation into those cold temperatures as it swings up to the mid-Atlantic. But you can see for South Carolina, you're pretty much going to get a lot of rain. A lot of the snow is going to be in the higher elevations and for the deep south in Tennessee. The Mid-Atlantic is going to go all the way to Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, southern Jersey. Y'all going to be getting a lot of repeat snowfall over and over in the same track. Now, when this system comes through, you can see with the vorticity that it gets a lot of strength, guys. This is a very strong storm. It will go all the way to the southeast. But once it gets that tilt over to the southeast and you got your threat for your damage and winds even your chances for tornadoes still guys this goes all the way to the mid-atlantic all the way to the coast of the northeast before it leaves bringing a lot of damage and winds a lot of severe weather 
But you see the worst and the vorticity starts getting really strong as you get into the early afternoon, especially for the deep south. This is going to bring you all a lot of storms, some damaging winds, but it is going to get more powerful as it goes up on that high ridge, mostly overnight. So it's going to be overnight from 10 o'clock tonight all the way until early in the morning for South Carolina, North Carolina, and northern Georgia. Then as the daytime comes for tomorrow, the storm's still going to be there for South Carolina, North Carolina, and then it's going to zing over into Virginia, Delaware, Maryland. It's going to be a nasty couple of days. Now you can see here with your shear that it does end up around South Carolina, North Carolina. It does calm down a little bit, but you do get some storms coming across all morning long till noon. But then you start kicking up these storms this afternoon. Now this is going to bring a threat all evening long. You can see it for Alabama. As it grows up to this afternoon, it gets very strong system. It gets chances for straight line damage and winds and chances for isolated tornadoes, especially by 6 p.m. Once it hits about 8, 9 o'clock, then the strongest goes away from North Carolina. And then you got the weakest going across South Carolina and North Carolina. Not a lot of instability, guys. The shear isn't too bad at that point. You definitely have to work, watch out all the way till 10 o'clock. After that, it's mostly going to be for southern Georgia, the panhandle of Florida, with this threat of these straight line winds. And you can see your tornado perimeters start to grow with this instability, especially by 1 p.m. for southern Alabama, panhandle of Florida. It goes into the Georgia while you get into the early afternoon. Stay strong, especially by 4 p.m. That's a 10 out of 10 chance for tornadoes, guys. And that tracks a little bit towards South Carolina, not too bad. And then you see how the instability stays away. But then it grows as this system starts going on that high ridge. Once you get overnight, once you get to 10 and 11 o'clock tonight, then it's going to strengthen up for that big chance for straight line winds coming with these storms all the way to South Carolina to 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. Then it shifts over to North Carolina, mostly by the coast, all the way to 4 o'clock in the morning with some strong winds. So just be aware. It is going to be there all morning long, mostly along the coast of North Carolina. Now, most of the helicity tracks, which shows you change with wind direction with height, which is your best chance to get your disturbance, to get your chances for your tornadoes and your straight line winds. It goes all the way to 9 p.m. straight across southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, central Georgia, central South Carolina, and a little bit into North Carolina. And there's only a small chance, but there is a chance for a little supercell to form all the way to 5 p.m., but that winds down very quickly as it goes up on that high ridge. But you also can see once you get into 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, then you're going to start getting some snow on a wraparound, especially when the sun goes down. Well, so far, according to the NAM 3K, high-resolution wrap refresh only sees up to 18 hours, and it shows the same thing as far as the snowfall, but it don't follow the system all the way through. So, so far for the deep south, you start changing over from... Thunderstorms and rain from Mississippi as you get into 7 o'clock tonight. You're getting a lot of potential sleet, freezing rain, and some snowfall in a wraparound. That dark blue is heavy snowfall. It's a lot of heavy precipitation, very cold temperatures. And look at it for Alabama as you go into 8 o'clock tonight. It goes straight across Alabama from storms to snow all the way to the early morning to 1 and 2 a.m. Then it carries over into Georgia by 1 o'clock. Georgia getting instead of storms now and thunder snow, you're getting snow, especially in northern Georgia as it goes over to South Carolina. But you can see how South Carolina, you're not getting any snow, not even on a wraparound because it's just too warm. The system's going right over you and you're not getting any of those freezing temperatures. Now, Tennessee and Kentucky, right around 1 and 2 o'clock, it starts going from western Tennessee, a little bit of southern Kentucky, and it goes all night long. Then it gets real heavy around 8 and 9 o'clock. A lot of heavy precipitation rolling around. Turns into heavy snowfall, but it does go straight across Tennessee and Kentucky, straight towards North Carolina, all the way until 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning. So you got these storms coming across South Carolina and North Carolina all night long. Once you hit 8 o'clock, it pretty much stops your chances for tornadoes. And then you got to watch out for damaging winds, straight line winds. A lot of storms, a lot of precipitation, and it's going to come all night long into the early morning hours. Then higher elevations of North Carolina, Western Virginia, you're going to start getting y'all snowfall in around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning when it leaves the Tennessee Valley. And it's going to carry straight across North Carolina and Virginia all morning long, going towards Delaware, Maryland, portions of New Jersey. And you can see as the system comes by, you're in the 60s all the way from eastern Georgia. Then you get freezing temperatures. You're getting snowfall and wrap around. But South Carolina, you go literally from the 60s to the 40s all the way by tomorrow morning. Now, these storms are going to start hitting Virginia, southern Maryland, even getting a little bit into Delaware 
later on tonight. And once you get into the early morning hours, then you got the temperature battle. All this cold weather coming, you got all this freezing rain and sleet, a lot of storms on the south side all morning long. But you can see how it flows all the way from southern Jersey, Maryland, Delaware by tomorrow morning. Very heavy snowfall right there. Look at those rates. That is dark, dark blue. That is a lot of snow all morning long. It trains in the same area. And this is going to bring up to a foot or more for a lot of people. It does cover most of Delaware, southern Jersey, and a lot of Maryland. This is going to be a big snowfall event all the way until 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And you see it right here on the NAM. As you go into early this morning, it's already passed. Everything's weakened down for your shear, so you're just going to have storms. You don't have chances for tornadoes without the shear. you got to have the lift, guys. you got to have the spin. you got to have the rotation of two different wind speeds at different heights. But once you get into later tonight, 7, 8 o'clock, the vorticity is going to start kicking in for the system going up on that high ridge. And you're going to get some strong winds all the way from Georgia to South Carolina. This is going to be overnight. That's the worst part about this storm. It's going to have a lot of shear, a lot of winds, all the way until the early morning hours for North Carolina when it finally leaves away. You can see as you go through this morning, you had some, some lightning in those thunderstorms. You had a chance for an isolated tornado or two. But it gets worse as you get to this afternoon. Now, now you get some really strong lightning by 5 p.m. tonight, especially for Georgia, Panhandle, Florida, as it goes all night long for Panhandle, Florida, and then Georgia goes into South Carolina all the way until 10, 11 o'clock at night. Then around 11 o'clock is your strongest point before it leaves the Panhandle of Florida, and you have it for Georgia, northern Georgia, and South Carolina. Some strong cells coming through with a lot of lightning as it goes on that high ridge. Then as you go into overnight hours, you have lightning for South Carolina and North Carolina with the thunderstorms as it moves over early morning hours across North Carolina. So those bands you see coming across Florida, they will have a lot of lightning in them, but as you go to the midnight hours tonight, and you still have a little bit of rain coming by, it's just going to be regular thunderstorms. But these cells right here are going to be very intense cells. But you can see as the system comes through, it's going to bring a lot of precipitation, it's going to bring a lot of snowfall, a lot of freezing rain, and a lot of sleet as well. But it is bringing a lot of precipitation. All this red is two to three inches all the way from southern Mississippi, Alabama, northern Georgia, South Carolina, eastern Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, southern Jersey. A lot of heavy rain coming with it. And snowfall. According to NAM3K, you have a chance for five inches of snow for northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, northern Georgia. A chance for major snowfall for northern Georgia. Sporadic across Tennessee because of the temperature battle, but a lot of chances for one to five inches, even major snowfall, especially at higher elevations of North Carolina. But you see how there's none for South Carolina. It's mostly northern North Carolina. Then it's going to hit hard for Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, over a foot, southern Jersey. This is going to be a big event. And the NAM shows there is some sleet possible with this as it comes from northern Louisiana, Mississippi, western, western Tennessee, and sporadic across northern Georgia and Alabama with Kentucky as well. But for Virginia, you're getting a lot of heavy sleet, a lot of heavy snow coming with this. It is going to be a big temperature battle. So far, it's showing Maryland, Delaware, and southern Jersey five-tenths of an inch as well. Now, five-tenths of an inch isn't going to do massive power outages, but it will make the roads dangerous, especially in the south. And being born in the south myself, I know we are not prepared for any of this. <laughs> now, the GFS, it also shows a little bit of northern Mississippi, northern Alabama with five inches, northern Georgia. And it shows all of Tennessee getting snowfall, eastern Kentucky, major snowfall all the way from eastern Tennessee across northern North Carolina, Asheville, higher elevations like that. Major snowfall across West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, southern Jersey, over a foot of snow. Euro shows about the same thing. It kind of agrees with NAM3K that it's, not, it's going to be less snow for western Tennessee than eastern Tennessee, but it confirms major snowfall from Virginia all the way to southern Jersey with chances for over a foot of snow, guys. Plus winds. This is bringing a lot of damage in winds. Now, when this goes up on this high ridge, it's going to bring 40s and 50s, even 60 miles per hour damage in winds to Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, North Carolina, and northern Georgia getting the highest winds. This will be a high ridge. It will be a big pull, and it will create that mass of winds that you're seeing here. The GFS sees it as well. It shows it's not going to hit 50s until it gets to eastern 
Georgia, but it's showing 50s and 60s for South Carolina, Georgia, and North Carolina. This whole area is going to be hit with high 40s, 50s, even high 60 miles per hour wind gusts. It is going to be very dangerous. Euro sees it as well as trending on all the models. That's going to go from 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts for Georgia, going to 60s for North Carolina and South Carolina. Anywhere where you see the 50 miles per hour wind gusts, it's pretty much your map for your power outages of what's going to come. But I have this link in the description so you can check the Euro GFS or even the NAM for just the next 48 hours. And it does show the amount of new snow that will be coming to the deep south. And you can zoom in on your area and see exactly who's potentially going to be getting this snow. And you can check all the weather models. But this is way better than trying to see a section. This will go into your area. Please use the link. It is a zoomable to your area link. I do hope this helped you in some way to know the impacts and timing of what's coming towards you guys. Because this is going to be an extreme system. Not just a rainfall coming to the northwest, which is good. Their drought is getting so much better. But this is a serious storm. Please help share this information so others can have timing and impacts of this system. God bless you all. May you all be safe through this storm. I pray everybody to have a good time. No worries, but I know it will cause a lot of power outages with those damaging winds. But happy Sunday to all of you. Hope you have a very blessed and a very happy Sunday. Hope you continue your weekend. I know school starts tomorrow. My kids go back into it. We're not too happy, but yay, it is what it is. Now let's praise our Father on this beautiful Sunday. Amen. Psalm 148. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his host. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He hath also established them forever and ever. He hath made a decree which shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons in all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars. Beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl. Kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth. Both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalteth the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Have a very beautiful day today, guys. Hope you had a great weekend. Please share the information so people can get timing and impacts of this system. It's it's going to be fun for a lot of people, but it is going to be a dangerous storm. <laughs> all power. All glory. Does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob. <laughs> Our Father. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a very, very great Sunday.